Hello guys, welcome back to another streaming movie review. Yes, we have a few streaming movie reviews and, and also other videos to catch up over the weekend. So there is going to be a ton of videos out this weekend. I think I'm planning on doing five all in all. So this is the first one of five. Um, stay tuned for these coming soon. So anyways, here we go. First one, Ghosted. <music> Yes, Ghosted is a new release here on Apple TV uh, Plus in the UK and um, it stars Chris Evans and Ana de Armas and it's basically a movie um, about like spies, villains, shooted um, and all that. In a nutshell, the two characters, Chris Evans and Anna de Armas' characters, they like fall in love, meet at the market. Well, fall in love is probably strong, but they fall for each other. Um, in a market, they meet each other um, and, um, you know, they basically want you know he can't stop thinking about it like she goes off she can't find him she's like disappears then basically and he's texting her and texting her and in a nutshell he's ghosted like that's the whole point so as he's being ghosted he's obviously wanting to try and find her and somebody convinces him and says like you should go to london to surprise her you know she's there for work and um, you know you should go there and surprise her and it'll be really romantic he ends up going there, he gets caught right in the middle of what she's trying to do, and I guess as a secret thing, she is like a secret agent working for the CIA, and he is caught right in the middle of it, and, um, you know, then is in trouble, and basically, um, he's been hunted down by these bad guys or whatever, and she has to save him. Um, and then they have this, like, love-hate relationship throughout the film, and of course, you know, it's a comedy, stroke action, stroke... Um, yeah, all that crime stuff. It's very similar to what I reviewed last month in terms of Murder Mystery 2. It's very similar to those films. Um, but I think this was a little bit better for me. I really enjoyed this. Um, it's directed by Dexter Fletcher. Um, now he has directed, just looking here, he's directed Eddie the Eagle, uh, Rocket Man, um, The Off, Offer, Offer, um, Wild Bill. Um, yeah, he's, he's directed quite a, a, a array of movies and produced things as well. Um, and also been involved in other movies as well. Along the way so he's he's a british actor and director um but he's you know he's, he's involved in this so very very good film um i think this is one of those films i like the poster of the movie looks really really bad and people made fun of that poster when it came out but you know it's understanding why apple bought it because it's not like um i don't think it's not a trashy like really really bad netflix film um you know, it's it's not the best film and it's not going to get me far, nowhere near five stars. But it's one of those films that it's really hard to hate, I find. I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought Anna de Armas and Chris Evans had real good chemistry um, throughout the entire film. And it's one of those things, I think, you know, you just want something easy to watch one day. I would watch this again and be pleasantly surprised every single time watching it. Um, it is also one of those you haven't got to, like, you know fully sit in front of the tv for hours and hours and hours and like be engaged thoroughly you can walk away um here or there and you won't miss much if you did that as well i don't think so it is one of those easy to watch movies that we all need nowadays we do need these films definitely this is chris evans's second project i think working with apple after appearing on the series defending jacob which is again a really good series as well um but i think he does a really good job he's obviously trying to do a lot of different roles nowadays we also saw him in um i think he did like a netflix film recently that i watched and i didn't really like that i think that was the gray man i think that was i didn't really like that again i felt like that was a real cheap um cheap cheaply done movie but this is one of those like it is a cheaply done movie but it's not done too cheaply in my opinion and um, it still warrants a decent score which that score i actually gave is a three and a half star it's not a terrible film but it's also not one of like the best films of the year in my opinion as with all my streaming reviews i always ask the question should this have appeared in the cinema and i really wish it did i think this would have been a really good cinema release um it reminded me a little bit of ticket to paradise which was in the cinemas recently which starred julia Roberts and George Clooney in terms of like a, a love-hate um, man-woman type of movie with some action in there. Very similar to this and also like The Lost City of Z with Sandra Bullock um, as well and Channing Tatum. The very similar type of like, you know, man-woman, man, man love-hate relationship, all that. It's very similar and I think it would have done well in the cinema in my opinion. The marketing around the film was really bad, don't get me wrong, the poster and all that was bad. I don't understand who signed that off. Both actors were airbrushed to no, no tomorrow and, um, you know, it just looked like a really cheap tv type of poster but um don't judge the book by its cover basically give it a go i think it's worth it um obviously if you've got apple tv plus give it a go um you won't be disappointed i think you'll just be pleasantly surprised if anything because i think most people enjoyed it more than hated it so 
So yeah. So there it is, guys. There is my review of Ghosted. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you seen it? Are you going to see it? Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, please do subscribe if you like what you see here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.